Hello everyone and today I would like us to look at uh, blocks. They are quite helpful when you are making a, a plan and you don't want to spend all your time detailing or uh, designing one thing by after another. For example, this is the wall I have created. So as you can see, this we can see it's a representation of the wall and this can be a door and the the rest of the wall okay so for example if i don't want to every time be creating these there are two ways to do this first i can just uh, make it as a small template but the best way is to use it as a block so that if any of you using a, another drawing you just have to use this block and it makes your work easier so first how to create a block you just uh, click or select the whole line work and type block okay so let's call it a uh, door and let's have the point to pick we can uh, have it uh, here for example okay so this becomes a door and we can use it but we don't, but this is not how doors look like when we when we use them to make an architectural representation for that matter so let's have a case where maybe we want to have this door flipped or uh, the roof opening so to do that we need to just go to the block editor and first of all if you want to flip before we do the the, the opening we can uh, first uh, have it in a way it can stretch so for it to stretch you just go to the parameter then you use the linear parameter okay so you just click the if you want the dot to, to, to stretch like this then you have to make the linear parameter like this like that so after that we don't want the two grips we just want one grip so you go to the properties and we remove we, we change the number of clips to one like that so the next step is to insert the action itself which is to stretch so in that case we just uh, click the stretch and the command is telling me to select the parameter so this is the parameter we are using and then we have to we can have we have to find the, this point here so because we want to stretch like this side we just uh, click here then uh, we now can be able to have this selection and then we select what we want to be stretching so this is what we want to be stretching for that case and we just press enter so we now have the stretch parameter so let's try it and see if it is working so we just save like that now now let's select it and now we can see the we have the grip and we can stretch the door opening and maybe it will just make it work you just have to shift the gap like that like that okay the next step is we want to see if we can flip this door to open so for us to do that we only need to come here and um, go to the block editor again now we have to use the rotate parameter rotation parameter here and 
we want to this is where we want to grip our door from so we click here we specify the radius and we want to have the grip here like that okay so but we don't want our dot to be going all through so we click the parameter and we go to the here you can see you want it to be opening only to maybe we can try 180 so that will be the end of the rotation so and then we come here we assign the action itself to the parameter like that and then we select what you want to be rotating so click uh, enter like that and close so let's save and let's see if it will work you see but they cannot go beyond here because we have set the limit so that is how the door opens and uh, I hope you find uh, this a, a cool uh, hack next time we'll uh, explore more on the dynamic blocks and maybe put into your comments what you might want us to do and thank you for watching and have a nice time